Sir Tyler the Great, just graduated high school. So how to generate income from what you're good at. I sell ice in the winter. I sell fire in hell. I'm a hustler, baby. I sell water to a well. Hm. You can make money from anything. Oof. You can make money from anything. Hmm. Okay, okay. People starting to respond, okay. Question. Hey man, just graduated high school. This really helped me, but I got a question. I like rapping and making music, but I can't really do much with it right now, or at least not yet, because I haven't reached a fan base. But music is all I know. How can I figure out what else I'm good at that can bring me income? Because I still won't to chase my dreams. What can I do? Hmm. Recording. Had to make sure it was recording. Right. Sir Tyler the Great just graduated high school. So how to generate income from what you're good at. See, this is why it sucks that they pull trades out of school, right? When they pull trades out of school, it doesn't allow for you to tinker to you to start gaining insight and in things that you love, things that you like to do, your real interests and find out how you could do something tangible with it. So when you don't have the opportunity to go through that phase of life early or in life, it can make it hard, especially as a man, we're designed by the creator to build we're, we're, we're utter perfection, right? And so with that comes a lot of responsibility, a lot of things that need to come with it. So I'm going to try to make this short um, to answer, sir, the great question, um, not go too, too, too far, too philosophical, too long winded, right? But if it happens, it happens. You know what I mean? Um, but check this out. First, I appreciate you asking me the question. You know what I mean? And I'm going to give you the answer best suited as I can to help you on your journey. You say you just graduated. So first and foremost, let me tell you something. As a man who has done a lot of things in his lifetime, who's who has a family, be prepared to do whatever it takes, right? Before you have a family, before you plant your seed and then have to take care of that fruit, your child, right? Your queen, do your best to do what you want now because it's gonna only get harder as you add people in life. Just wanna put that out there, make that disclaimer. So first and foremost, if you wanna do music and you found out that's what you love, great. So you need to go through a series of questions to ask yourself, right? So you already know that you want to do music. We need to break down and understand why. That why is going to keep you drilled deep into this during this whole journey. If you don't figure out your why, everything I'm about to tell you now is not going to even matter, right? So the most important thing is to find out your why. I'll put a link at the bottom. Um, it's a website where you can go seven layers deep and it'll, ask, it'll keep asking you why, 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 and you'll unlock more answers for yourself, right? If I can find it, at, by the time I put this video out, I'll put it at the bottom as well, or you could just hit me up. But there's a, like a mastery method, like a two-step process that you can go through and ask yourself a series of questions. And I'm gonna give you 
for the most part, everything I wrote down that I could remember. And then you could put this together, right? To make money with the music. But I'm, I'm trying to tell you too, what you can do to market it, right? You got to get in front of as many people as possible. Case in point, what I'm doing right now is helping you, right? So when I put this out or whatever, make sure you drop your link on, on this video. <clears throat> so anybody that watches this can see your music. Okay, so when I went through the mastery method, it helped me to go from not knowing what I wanted to do, knowing how to make money, knowing, you know, I guess who my audience was, what my niche was, all of that. And then I determined all I'm doing in my lifetime right now and what I've always done is solve my own problems, right? So you need to find out what problems you have in life and then solve them. And then once you can solve them for yourself, you can solve them for others. It's just that simple. I did a video, the one that brought you to me, talking about how to, you know, saying how you can make, what, 50K from changing breaks. If you focus on your music and you think about all the things that you've learned and all the problems that you've had while making your music, you will be able to figure out exactly what it is that you can do to make money. Because the problem that you solve for yourself is the problem that you can solve for others. It's just that simple. But I'll go a little deeper. So, let's just say, <clears throat> I don't know, when you say you make music, I don't know, you know, this in this day and age, you have beat machines, you have beat makers, you have apps. So I don't know how intricate or how much you've gone into making your music, making your rap music or whatever. I don't know if it's the vocal pitch you had to focus on. I don't know if it's the, soundboard you know again i don't know everything about music but i have an eye concept of it right i don't know if it was learning how to put the put together 16 bars whatever it is that you figured out right there's somebody else that doesn't know what you figured out there's somebody else that you can put together everything that you've learned up until this point that now you're making the music right and your problem now is maybe, like you said, you don't have a, a big enough fan base, right? And I don't know if you know about Yo Gotti, but listen to some of his old music. Let's find some of his old interviews. He talks about all of that. You know what I mean? Um, there's a, I'm trying to put all this in the, in, the, in the video as well, but there's a video with Nipsey Hussle and he breaks down like how he got his music out there. So I'm telling you what you can do right you gotta learn to collaborate network with people and get it out there as many people as possible everybody and their mama should know that you sit yet you that you rap that you do music any anytime you go in a coffee shop a grocery store you better have something on that lets people know that you that you are about this music life i'm telling you now if you are you know what I'm saying like you say you just graduated 18 17 19 it might not happen for you for 10 years you got to be okay with that and what i mean happen for you whatever happened for you means i don't know what your level of when you, you know i say how far you want this music to take you or whatever but you need to start networking and get it with people and doing the networking portion right you also want to make sure that like i said everything that you've learned up until this point for your journey that you document it and you package it together in a way that maybe you can sell a course. And I know everybody's peddling courses and whatever and whatever, I, I get it, but that is the digital age. That is the age we live in. There's a book, and I know I'm giving you a lot, bro. There's a book called The Capitalist Manifesto, right? I want you to go and read that. That will break down everything in a way it's deep, but it will, it will break down everything in a way where you will understand how the world works, how our society works, and how you can make money and sell and do whatever it takes to provide for yourself and eventually your family. You just got to be willing to put in the work. You just got to be willing to put in the work. Go seven layers deep with your whys. Keep asking yourself the questions of what problems you can solve already that other people may not. You know what I mean? And be okay because I'm gonna tell you right now, 15, 16 years, let's see. 
seven, 16 years, more or less being an entrepreneur, being a, a, a father of creation, being a man who creates value from the simplest, smallest, or some people may even say nothing, to think that over all this period of time, I've never gone a month, two weeks, three months, six months, heck, even two years and work the job, right? To make sure that I could make ends meet or make things happen for my family is crazy. So some people don't have to do that. I realize now I didn't have to do that. I could have just stayed down, stayed relentless, stayed consistent. And that's what I've done over the past six years but those years before that, when th times would get hard with money or whatever, what did I have to do? I had to do what I had to do, no matter what, right? To provide, to take care of my family. So if you only gotta worry about yourself, it's a little easier and that's why you may not have to do any of that. But be okay with, if you need to go get a job or go get some other source of income for a period of time that does not coincide with the dream, just don't lose sight of the dream. That's why I said you need to go seven layers deep with your why. If you go seven layers deep with your why, you're going to be golden, right? You're going to be golden, pony boy. Let me know in the comments if you know what movie that's from. But that's all I got for you for this strategy session. I hope this helps. You got any more questions, put the link down at the bottom. And as always, the road ahead is long and hard. No place for the weak. You must be a warrior. Attack the day.